Oh yeah, you can't destroy those yet. I forgot. Again, Scooby Snacks, extremely useful. There's plenty up there, but I need to double jump for that, don't I? Fuck. I'll have to get them later. Uh, also, by the way, guys, despite this being a game for kids, this game is harder than it looks. Like, uh, right now, obviously, we're early game, but later on, it's not so much it's difficult as it is a bit unfair in terms of its design. Like this, depth perception, hard to see, hard to tell. Honestly, could probably have waited until I got the double jump for that. Uh, all I do this with small enemies, by the way. Rats, crabs, stuff like that. Don't do it for the main enemies. Because you will take damage. Uh, some require two hits or more, though. Just a quick heads up. And occasionally they will drop something, so it is worth doing. Beware, Scooby-Doo, you need one of the professor's inventions to defeat larger monsters. Try sneaking past the monster while they are asleep or not paying attention. And I'd rather just speed past. Unfortunately, at the moment, we're kind of uh, stuck in a position where we can't really do much damage to anything, to be fair. Uh, we will eventually be able to start attacking stuff, but uh, not for a while. Just take care of the rat, and we can enter the second part here. Rot roll. Also, I believe this game actually uh, contains most of the original cast as well. Let me check something here. Yeah, there's there's no option for um, subtitles. I guess they just happen. Uh, we'll go get Shaggy in a moment. I'm just going to get the Scooby Snack. Again, I can't emphasize enough how um, important it is to have... Uh, how important it is to have Scooby Snacks. Please pick him up again. Uh, there was another one over here. Oh, it's just food. Okay. Again, depth perception not great. Okay, there we go. There we go. Simple enough. You go on, Scoob. I'm gonna hang around here. I get it. <laughs> hang around. Oh, you coward. I'll catch up with you later. Okay, we can move on though now at least. Careful of these, you can't swing on these. In fact, you'll take damage if you touch these. But again, depth perception not great. You really don't want to tangle with that guy. Fucking depth possession, I swear to god. Oh Christ. You can't get into the cannery until you've got some anti-sticky shoes. The only clear path is through the door behind you. Uh, it's pretty simply you can't jump when you're on tar. So we can't go that way, yep. Uh, get the warp gate. Yep, it's the warp gate. So there's a monster in the way, so what? <laughs> Don Knotts here were the fucking best, absolute best in terms of um, insults right now. And we can enter the next area. Take this boat ride for a shortcut around the canary. Again, we can't really do anything here right now, we're just going to have to try and avoid uh, pissing off the enemies at the moment. Oh, well, that was quick.
And you also walk a little bit slower, I believe, when you're on the, uh... I think it is just meant to be tar. I'm not sure. Big problem here is I can't fucking jump, which means I can't collect a lot of the Scooby Snacks. Which means multiple visits, probably, for me. But... We got a invention. We got the spring invention. And now we can double jump, which is fucking awesome. And we're just gonna go and save here. And we did 1%, probably a bit higher than that now. And there's your double jump. Sadly, again, we still can't walk on the tar. Uh, we still can't jump on the tar, but we'll do what we can. I think I can get this one here as well. Which means I'm going to have to come back here at a certain point in the future. Try not to get hit by the crabs. God damn, I was hoping I could jump a bit further than that. I was gonna say, oh, I should point out, there's no lives in this game. You'll just be sent back a little bit if you do end up fucking up. Uh, it is a pain in the ass, but it is, you can't really do anything about it. Yeah, damn it, I was hoping I could maybe fuck that over, but never mind. You get crabs. Just like that, actually. <laughs> uh, the only real thing is you'll go back down to free health units, but it is what it is. And that perception, what the fuck is that? I just want the Scooby Snacks. I have nothing against you or your people. I'll take that other sandwich, actually. I see Shaggy up and left. Alright, we can actually double jump over here now. Uh, hang on to the pelican for a shortcut back. Be sure to grab all the goodies along the way. Now, this would be better if I could actually tell which way I need to move my body. Do I need to move my body? I don't think I need to move my body at all, to be honest. I'll happily just take the Scooby Snacks as they are. I don't need the health. I can actually get these as well now. Uh, was there a third one? No, apparently not. Eat up all them Scooby snacks, you hear? Food doesn't grow on trees. Well, except for fruit. But never mind. And thank you for the running commentary there. Really like it. Alright, so that's that section done anyway. At least for now, we'll probably have to go back there later. Uh, we actually need to go to the hedge maze now. Oh, I can't do that yet, can I? Oh wait, there's one, there's a key right above here, isn't there? I was trying to think then. Of course, I forgot, I forgot all about the key to be honest. Scooby Snacks, Scooby Snacks, I like Scooby Snacks. I also love the Scooby Doo franchise. Okay, so we can't get in there yet. We're gonna have to wait till later. But yeah, guys, I, I absolutely adore the Scooby Doo franchise. I grew up on it. You know, I used to watch it as a kid. Even as an adult, I still watch it occasionally, but it's not like massively one of my favorites. Like, I put it up there like top 100 easily, probably even top 50. Uh, like the original series, uh, I don't mind watching Scooby Doo and all that shit, but um, We'll see what happens when it comes to a new series. Uh, what was the one that was pretty good from a few years ago? Mystery Incorporated, I think it was just called? Something like that? Uh, that was a really good show as well, but... Uh, yeah, we can't actually kill the enemies yet, but we can at least daze them. Alright, 
we uh, managed to get a couple more there. We managed to hit the witch. Uh, she will actually perform a spell on us to uh, do some damage to us, so we want to try and avoid every enemy we can. Uh, and just like in pretty much every fucking platformer from this era, there is touch damage, so uh, you want to be careful of that. Try not to get too far to the uh, too close to the edge. It's easy, easy to fall off. Enter the next area. Ooh, we can go two different paths here, but actually one's kind of blocked after a moment. Alright, so we need the plunder invention to make up the ramp. We actually won't be getting that for quite a while. I wonder what's down here other than... I believe it's actually much, much later we'll be getting that. So I need to remember to come here later on, okay? That's fine. Get plenty of Scooby Snacks. Oh, I, I nearly forgot I had... Uh... I nearly forgot I had uh, the double jump there and screwed it up. Oh no, it's a zombie! I don't think Resident Evil would uh, be nearly as terrifying if that was the type of zombie we put up with. This guy is fucking teleporting! Uh, there are two of the Professor of Invention. Uh, the slippers in the lampshade. You know, you're just giving it to us, okay. You can use the slippers to sneak past quietly, uh, past monsters by holding the R2 button while walking. I don't know what's going to transfer to on my controller. And then you can lose the lampshade to hide from monsters while holding the button while constantly standing. Uh, use your new lampshade and, and slippers to avoid the zombies hiding in the urn. So how do I use it? Oh, there we go. I can't get past there. Well, apparently you can run in this game. I didn't know that. Let's just uh, use it as he mentioned earlier. Oh, okay. Don't touch the cauldron. Cauldron bad, apparently. Uh, what was down here, then? Oh, Tar, I can't get through there yet. Can I jump over the mist? Yes, I can. The only reason I'm jumping over this is it takes fucking forever to disappear, so, uh, yeah. Just a bit faster to do it this way. <laughs> Fuck it, just... Knock him dead for a second there. And move on. Ooh, I've got an itchy nose, one second. Fuck, that's better. I have left the, um, the... F I have got this on Discord at the moment. If anybody decides to join me, they can happily do that. I don't mind. I don't know if anybody will. I'm just uh, letting everybody know that if anybody does jump in at any point, uh, they will be on video. Or in this Let's Play, anyway. Uh, enter our next session here. Be careful of that. It is very easy to forget that there are... Um, arrows coming out of these things, so just be careful of that. Yeah, yeah so it is actually a good idea that I keep doing that. Uh, the gate appears to open from the other side, okay. Oh, oh Christ. Well, I don't know what I was trying to do there. Again, if it wasn't for the fact that fucking Scooby Snacks were essentially as addictive as crack cocaine in this game, I wouldn't bother trying to get all of them, but uh... Also, yeah, bottomless pit if it wasn't obvious. I can't go that way yet, because I can't jump on the, the thing. Oh, I can't jump on Tar. Let's just get that health. I actually did try and charge it. I don't know why it didn't let me. And yeah, I'm not using the sprint or anything here, guys. I probably won't until I need to. Like, you can see it there. Oh, crap. Here's Shaggy on the lawnmower. Uh, I don't know why that terrifies me, but it does. Hey, 
All right, so basically now we just need to make sure we stay on the uh, the lawnmower. Easier said than done. It's not actually a massive uh, square we've got here. And just try and get as many of the Scooby Snacks as we can actually get. Ooh, I missed quite a few there, actually. Ooh, I nearly fucked that up. The double jump, thankfully, there's no, like... As long as you are haven't landed yet, you can always uh, activate your second jump. So just bear that in mind, guys. Okay, back on the lawnmower again. The lawnmower of death, especially when Shaggy Rogers is uh, steering the fucking thing. <laughs> Ooh, nearly timed that badly. Also, you do have a very slight amount of delay if you do fall onto the ground. You can just about get back onto your platform if you've got enough uh, time. It's not a massive amount of time, but you've got a little bit of leeway. Like that, friends, for instance. Alright. I am doing everything I can here, Shaggy. You fucking learn to drive properly. We got the warp point. As you can see, I did actually miss a few Scooby Snacks there, and he went straight through that thing. <laughs> 